Who Lives Who Dies is an improvised D&D show that may contain violence and adult themes. Content warnings can be found in the description. Right, I'm, I'll check it out. We can break <laughs> a bone for you right now, don't worry about it. And hello, welcome to Who Lives Who Dies. My name's Matt Bateman, welcome to episode four. Help me, I'm in danger. Uh, no, my name is Matt Bateman, I'm the Game Master, Dungeon Master, Storyteller for this evening. Dreamweaver. Uh, Dreamweaver as well, yes, we... we, we... Source Rider. So, sorry, what? <laughs> I don't know. I, we're, we were putting words together, and, and I thought, Ooh. Yeah, yeah. and Just... I am joined by the sublime <laughs> oh. Sasha Bergwin. Uh, <laughs> <I forgot my laughs> name. Playing incredible. The decadent oh, David yes. Cox. The nefarious <laughs> Naomi Clark. And the resplendent Reese Lawson. There we go. And who are we playing? Because we forgot that part again. <laughs> as well. I tried. I oh, know. I'm sorry. We could do it with the minis. Oh, we could. Yeah. Speaking of, <gasps> look what came in the post. Gifts, uh, gifts, 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 uh, gifts. Give so me there, gifts. there we go. Okay. I, I we don't move gifts. something else no, that was also in well, there. We're just going to do that. That's why it's already open. <gasps> like, wink. Old, wink. Old I'm opening one. this what, now. What could be behind oh. here? <laughs> Okay. What? I forgot I've got to, I've still got to animate the D20 from last episode still. I love it. I love this. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh, that's a you. Oh, that, that's me. <laughs> Are you just going to hang out with a... I was going to hang out with a bubble wrap. Matt, make sure you get some nice close-up shots after we finish filming this. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, it already <gasps> looks great from... It's oh, so I love cool. it. I love it. Not sponsored, but Hero Forge make good things. And... When you have wonderful actors and creators, oh, that came out so oh, well. So good. So, I think it's we need to draw. Nice we need to draw a face in. face on a little buddy. Oh, though, definitely. It's really good. I'll so get like good. a little borrow. Uh, would also, you also like the show OGs. Oh, I, I mean, yeah. sure. So this is OG. Okay, so I play Myla. I play Alexi. I play four. <laughs> <laughs> and I I play Tutorial or Toot. 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 And I am literally. Ev- Everyone else. Why in the would universe. you do that? They're all the cheap ones. It's fine. That I wouldn't do that to the expensive so ones. See, much. They're fine. I don't care. You have to love the cheap ones as well. No, they do, but they're the ones that get thrown into like the the. the... Anyway, uh, <laughs> minis minis are great, as are maps and lots of other things. More on that later. Uh, so, uh, I think that's about going to cover it. Unless anyone else has anything they want to drop. Anything? Yes, Naomi, please. Uh, Reese had a haircut. He looked great. Yes. yes. Uh, secondly, we played a game of uh, Muppets that you can find on the internet if you follow us on Twitter. Thirdly, uh, teleport. Okay, right. One, two, two three. three. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I went oh, into a little oh, space. Oh. Yeah. I saw so many things. Was it, was it a pocket dimension and a pantomime horse? Yeah. There, there we go. Reese had no clothes on the entire time. <laughs> and he was two You're horses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was something horsey, definitely. Well, thank you. Don't need to hold your horses any longer. <laughs> Gather up the stables, get some hay, rein it in. And let's get ready for episode four of Who Lives, Who Dies. Drumroll, please. Not looking good. <laughs> it's looking great. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Hot on the trail of Alexi Kastav, the party chased Alexi's captors through the streets of Bark, losing them to a mix of bad luck, being outwitted, overpowered, and poor horse impersonations. <laughs> no need to rub it in. <laughs> With the party and the guards caught in between it all, Milo was taken to the now safe Kastavs. Revealing her association to, with Alexi to Tobias, who in turn revealed his knowledge of Alexi's treachery towards the Castile family name. Foreign Tutorial eventually found the original would be captors, tracking them to a house, and after convincing the guards to leave by revealing death is no more through a real life demonstration, went inside and was sub- subsequently ambushed by the mages, triggering a magical trap. Alexi, meanwhile, found himself teleported to a skyship, the Oculus, meeting the ship crew and soon learning that he had not been captured, but rescued by the Sanguine Gauntlet, a group dedicated to protecting the Castars and their interests. Yay. Initially mistaking Alexi for Tobias, the crew realized their mistake and their captain, 
an intimidating snarl from named Overtel with lots of apostrophes thrown at me, <laughs> confronted Alexi with his knowledge and revealed the sacred relationship with the Raven Queen was not as it seems. Yay. With the party split, each member is now in significant danger and none know where the other one is. So, we now cut back to four not me, thank the fucking and tutorial. <laughs> Toot, you are smoking and smoldering, lying on the ground. Your vision slowly comes into focus. I'm sorry. You see a healthier looking, but still not great looking four, knocked back against a table. As both of your eyes shift into focus and you begin <laughs> to come to, uh, you see two figures standing over you, watching menacingly. One in blue robes, shutting a spell book, stepping slowly towards you four. The other one standing back, a long dagger at their side. Okay. You recognize them earlier from the marketplace, and you were in the same place at the same time. Um, you were in a study of some sort. You see a, a ladder heading upstairs, higher into the building ahead. Um, there are books sort of scattered and blasted apart, and you can start to start smell smoke on the air as well. Your friend is dying, and they're both looking at you expectantly. Okay. What happens next? Uh, I look at them and I'm like, I'm sorry, there's been some sort of confusion here. Um, are you killing me or not? Depends. I think you'll find uh, you had to kill us. You seem no. very blatantly walking into, into a building. Uh, Honestly, like, that we, we were really waiting for someone and a little bit lack of things to do, I'm not going to lie. Um, we, di we didn't do anything aggressive. Uh, I think if you'll remember... What on? <laughs> he's not feeling very well. Um, darling... Can but try? It's, uh, can I pass him a healing potion from my pack? Uh... Sure, how are you doing this? You are on opposite sides of the room and they're both watching you closely. I'm just going to walk over and hand it to him, blatant as hell. Okay, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Hands Why? where I can see them. It's just, it's a little healing potion and it's not for me. Um, what do you need? The one with the knife starts to walk towards you, hand outstretched. Wanting to take it. Give it to me. Well, you give it to him, though. Look at him. I would. You're I hand it over reluctantly. He takes it. Uncorks it. Gives it a sniff. What is your business here? And he says that. He kneels and hands you the potion. Okay, so... Uh, you may remember me from such places such as the marketplace uh, where you... Uh, we're trying to, I believe, kidnap, kill, um, what's their names? Uh, black hair, red roots. What's your business with the car stars? <laughs> i got to be honest, I basically have no business. Um, I'm really just trying to complete a sacrifice. This is a learning experience. <laughs> I know, I know, darling. No one um, will learn anything here. Yeah, he's uh, he's had a he's had a long day. Um, I'm sorry. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Um, I'm four of the five of the third house of the fourteenth district of lunar analysis and development. Right. The moon is exploding. The moon is going to explode. Right. So that's that's kind of my thing. Um, what's your thing? Hello. Would you like to engage in the tutorial? Not, not right now. I am Corne very well. I am Cornelius, uh, third hand of the Sanguine Gauntlet. Okay. And, and I've been moved here to move cast offs out of harm's way from would-be assassins. Oh, and, if that helps them, we're not killing any cast offs at all. No, no, you're not. That's why I'm standing here right now. Uh, why are you in this building? Well, we were waiting for a cast off, funnily enough, who went missing. Um, just like, um, and oh, is that that skinny boy with the deep V that got caught in our little? See, we we deal in our secrecy. 
Subtlety. Uh, Why would you tell us your name? Who says it was my real name? <laughs> that is a joke. I have a joke. Please. It's worse than its bite. Is he okay? He'd be a lot better if he had that little potion that I handed to you. He's uh, feeling unwell. I am holding it. <laughs> cool. What would you like to do with that potion? <laughs> yeah, just looking at it. It's like, huh? Puts a cork in and puts it no, in no, his no, little... No, 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 darling, little... darling, 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 mm-hmm. darling, darling. In. In. Mouth, please. Does he have a mouth? He doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> and he's just like... I don't know how to t- give this Warforged <laughs> uh, potion. So what he does is, <laughs> oh, I understand. Takes out one of the little green orbs and just smashes it against his head again. Great, ideal. You're casting <laughs> cure wounds on yourself? Yeah. Yep, not a problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, look, this can go one of two ways. Uh, we had to get cast arms out. As far as I mean, we got a cast off. Uh, at least we're about to go find out if it's the right one. Great, yes. so we'll just like handshake. We had a nice chat. Now you've seen my face and you're snooping around. I don't really quite trust what you're about. Oh, if that helps, um, I change my face. Is that better? Shit. Or like worse? You're looking for a job? Listen, I've, I've really got like one thing going right now, but if you give me your card, <laughs> like once I'm dead and I go back in the bath, then we'll we'll talk next cycle, I guess. Uh, but listen, I really mm, sorry. I keep getting distracted. Uh, uh, the he, he just mutters something under his voice. He's cast silence on you. Oh. Sorry, uh, concentration on work, sort of thing. Cool. So we're all like gravy here. Mm. Not quite. Um, I need to make a quick roll. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Um, you do notice while you've been talking with the one in blue, the one in red's been walking slowly around the back of the yeah. room, and you notice he's come up behind you with a knife. Yep. Um, and you see him do this, he raises it, and he tries to cut off a lock of your hair. He can cut off a lock of my hair. You don't stop him? I do not stop him. I grow new hair. Great. Immediately. Cool. He takes the lock, puts in a little vial. Thanks. So, um, you gonna kill me with that? Don't or? follow us, or we will. Don't make promises. You're not gonna keep. <laughs> um, and I grab the hand of my sweet Warforged boy, <laughs> and I'm like, "Could you? Sorry, we need to talk." And I <sighs> turn around and count to a hundred. <laughs> I turn around and I'm like. Shit, um, and I discover I have no maths ability in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I go to fourteen, and then I'm like back to five again. And as you realize, you're, you're, yeah, good. <laughs> Turn around. Um, do you try to peek and see what they're doing, or do you just let them go? Um, I mean, if I can hear anything, I'll do that. But like. Uh, well, it's very quiet because Toot is making no noise. You do hear a soft muttering of incantation okay. uh, behind you as they ascend up the ladder. Yeah, I assume they're teleporting away or some shit. You um, can make an arcana check if you want to try and make it out. Yeah, go on. Why not? That's what the game is for. Occasionally rolling a dice. That's an eight, so it's not going to be the best. Could be anything. It's a 12. No, you're not really sure. Fuck. Um, Goes on for a one, so you can, you can summarize it. It's not a little spell. Yeah, okay. Uh, I um, check in on yeah, Toot. Yeah, uh, Reese, what, what, what is Toot doing at this point? <laughs> Counting. Is the <laughs> silence dropped yet? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. You wait, you finish counting, the footsteps go up and away, and then suddenly there's a crack, and you can make noise again. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> You're both alone in the room. Yep. Hairs grow on the back of your neck. Yeah. Uh, Reese, what health are you on right now, buddy? Uh, I am now on nine. Great, thank you. Mm, Baby. Right. I have. I have something for you. And pulls out the potion and gives it back. Oh, darling. Uh, I think. I think maybe you should hold on to it. 
Very well. Ooh. Oh, a wall of fire. Oh. It's just, it's just a fire. Okay, so the yeah, place yeah, is, is going yeah. up. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Oh dear. Uh, I grab Toot's hand and I start running. Down because the stairs or up the ladder? Up the ladder. Fuck it. Okay. Yeah, why not? He, do, sorry. Do you want to? Do you want to make some decisions? Just, you just want me to like between I'm, yourself. I trust you. You know what? Yeah, go for it. Let's go. Let's <laughs> oh, go up. A, let's go up a ladder in a burning building. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm here for narrative flavor, and that's all. Uh, I'm trying to die. I'm sorry. Um, I've told you what I'm doing. Put me up the ladder. Okay. All right. You climb up, up the ladder. ladder. You keep making things happen. It's like no. I already We're said already my done. action. Yeah. All right. Ladder ascending. You both come up with another flame. Above your feet instead of taking the door out. Cool. Meanwhile. I'm sorry. So. Oh. I'm afraid. It's rather complicated things. I hope you understand. Okay, so you said I had a choice, right? Yes. And the choice was I can help you catch this traitor. Yes. Or I die. One of the two. Okay. Though, given current circumstances, the latter would be a long, long, drawn-out experience. I am. I trust I you am, understand. I am assuming, based on both of our knowledges of the current state of affairs, that when you say die, you don't necessarily mean immediately you would wait, fix the problem, and then make sure that eventually I met my demise. Well, I'm afraid our mutual friends are trying to keep a low profile, at least in some regard. Mutual friends? You hear the marching of the guards uh, outside. Uh, sure, 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 sure. I see. Um, well, so... Th- if the there's scene... anything you can tell me, though, I would love to know. Who is he really? What's he like? He's been gone nearly a year. Um, sorry, uh, just so that I'm clear on the, the terms of our agreement here. Um, if I, say, told you I don't know what this person was like, Am I still going to die if I don't help you hunt them down? We'll see how healthy you are. Don't expect to give everything away now. You need to trap someone as intelligent as that, I'm sure. He's not silly. It seems to me like if the option is help you find this this person or die, I'm logically going to choose the help you find this person option. Let's 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 say seeming let's say I do know where he is. Maybe Help me take him out, or help me get to know how to take him out. He's lasted this long somehow, right? Well, um... Can't we not take anyone out at the moment because of the aforementioned problem? See, the thing about a ship, uh, if you excuse the metaphor, um, when there are leaks springing up all over the country, You want to plug that leak up pretty quickly. You thought it was a little leak, you could just let it go, but no, this leak has caused a lot more problems. Okay, so I, sorry, I'm trying to get a handle. Do do I need to speak plainly, girl? Sometimes, yes, but okay, so what you're saying is you lost this person about a year ago. Well, he, he left. Yes. Oh, so he left of his own accord, or no, did you? No, no, definitely not. No, I wasn't actually involved in the process. Okay. Look, Alexi was banished. Alexi was okay. sacrilege, blasphemous, whatever you want to call it. We have been given a gift, and to test or temper uh, the blood work of the castarves. And he's getting quite irate at, at this point. Yeah. It's frankly, it's 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 disgusting. <laughs> No, 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 I, I, oh, I, I, and, and he was I given see. the chance to go off and survive and live with the common people as he should, but now he's popped up all over the place and killed his own brethren, and frankly, I, me. I, no, I understand, it's, it's I, I, I think it'd be quite good if there was a chance to remove the problem entirely, I would quite like to, now as I understand it, we might have him on the ship right now, but I don't just want to walk in to this fucking nobleman who's managed to survive as long as he can, and you seem quite close. So, sorry, again, just, just, um... It's not hard. No, 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 it's not hard to understand, um, the words you said. I want to understand that, um, p- positions are clear, you are, because if he's, if you're struggling to take him out, that seems like he might be quite dangerous. I don't know if he's quite dangerous, that's why I need you. Is he dangerous or not? I... 
His wife's in the corner, white face, Ooh. staring. Yeah, yeah, she's been. <laughs> Hello. <Yeah. laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Um, uh, what was my train of thought? There was something. Really Sorry. About. Is he dangerous? Um, is he dangerous? No, or not? there's something else. Um, can I just say in this moment, snapping the pen? <laughs> uh, yeah, big, big sick moment. as hell. <laughs> um, so, I, listen, I understand. I I completely understand why it must feel um, deeply unpleasant to you because my people, as you know, have, uh, I'm sure, have a bond with Rylanthium and I have been investigating people doing bad things with that. So um, I can to an extent appreciate what you mean about people messing with thing, your beliefs and things that you believe in, right? Slightly. Okay. I'm honestly not that sure how much I can help you. How, okay, let me ask questions. How long have you been traveling with? With Aloysius? Yes. Um, I think a couple of weeks, but it's slightly hard to tell. <laughs> Freya, upon hearing this, stands up from a chair and wanders over, not cornering you so much, just starting to take a keen interest. I have a very interest. quick question. Yes. What does the room look like? So, the room is a... An office, yep. uh, one of the captain's offices. Mm-hmm. There's um, a couple of weapons up on the side, a couple of swords and axe. Um, there's a quite a fine desk where um, Tobias has been focused for this point. Uh, yep. Sort of a, a couch where Frey has been sitting and watching intently at this point. And you're you've been sort of sat not in the middle of the room, not an in interrogation, just on a stool, slightly to one side. The door. What's the floor made of? Uh, the floor is made of wood. Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. You're very welcome. That is awful. I may now. regret that. All right, time on. Freya walks across to you. A couple of weeks, he's he's been, we've had reports that it's been months since uh, a snow elf. Two, in fact, were originally seen uh, with Mr. Carstaff. Like I said, technically, it's been a few weeks. But it's a bit complicated. Right, well, I don't have time for complicated, so. Are you close? <sighs> I like. I mean, I've definitely been traveling with a person that meets this description, but God, <laughs> I turn into a termite. <laughs> Myla's down in that floor. She is gone. Cool. He, Hell yells, he yeah! yells guards. Three storm into the room quickly enough to see you go into a termite. She's in between the floorboards. No, nope. she's yep. gone. 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 I'm not even gonna make you roll Sick for that. As hell! Thank you. So good. Oh, fuck. I need you to make a perception check for me, please. Oh, I. Oh no, but my dice is such. Uh, you can do this. Don't you can look do this at as Myla. Yep. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. You get no. mental stats. Yep. Cool. So yeah, just, I have got mental stats. Cool. But yeah. Yeah. Please I'm, make a perception check. Don't, don't look at it when you roll. Don't look at it. 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 I'm not even looking. All good. That was a 19. <laughs> Plus 8. <laughs> Holy shit. Good to know. I'm the most perceptive termite you ever saw. Alright, I was saying. What did <laughs> With a 19, you would have seen that as Freya was approaching, she was pulling out also a short knife. Mm-hmm. Walking around the back, but you turned so quickly and she didn't get the chance. And I'd say with a 19, you would have avoided. She didn't manage to get a lock of your hair, so you've managed to escape free. Nice. Uh, <laughs> cool. Are you are you down and out? What are you? Oh, she's gone. Yeah, she's, she's gone? going. Right. She's going. Termites move quite fast. She's, so she's she's off. Cool. And also, there's, there's just no way they're going to be able to find a small termite <laughs> in that no, floor. No, absolutely. She's great, under great the play. Boards. Um, I will make you pay for that later on. <laughs> uh, great, good. Well done. <laughs> Very good play. Yeah. I was. When you snapped that pencil, I was like, oh, shit! Fucking got me. Really good. Really good. Sorry. <laughs> We're so, still going to die soon. I know, but, but I like to alleviate the tension Are we you. rushing up? The ladder, Tyler. Yeah, no, yeah hell yeah. Let's go. So we're, yep. not, we're not checking, we're not doing anything? Okay, great. I'm going first. <laughs> and I'll be climbing after with Liza. Hmm. Cool. 
You rush up the ladder. Yeah. Making lots and lots of noise. Uh, you're going first? Yep. Ditch 30 saving throw. Sick. Oh, god damn it. Oh, actually, what's your passive perception? Nine. <laughs> yeah, Dex 30 saving throw. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, uh, dexterity saving throw is 19. 19. Uh, you can choose not to avoid this if you wish. But, Tell me what it is first, baby uh, You You notice there's a small glint, and as you climb up the ladder, and as your hand touches the second to the top rung, you feel it pull slightly, and you notice there's a small cable tied in a room, and you notice a little another golden bead of light. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, back, 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 uh, because uh, now I'm like, shit. It's that. It's the moment of seeing tutorial just like absolutely fucked. I'm like, if it was just me, I'd be like, fuck it, who cares? So, but it, 19, Yeah, I, it's shooting at you. you yeah, you yeah, know, we're the, ducking, we're ducking. We're, we're ducking. going back down. I'm reversing us immediately. Okay. With advantage. Okay. To avoid it. To avoid it. Hasn't gone off yet. Cool. What, so, what, what, dex? Dexterity. Dexterity. Well, well, that's lucky. Oh, fuck. Was that with advantage or disadvantage? That was with advantage. Well, that's lucky. What did you roll, buddy? Well, I'll tell you now, one of those would have been real bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nat one. <sighs> and a, a, a 19. To save. Okay. So it's a 19, thank you. 19. Cool. With a 19, you also <laughs> manage to dodge, and the bead flies past you, and you duck out the way, and underneath, boom, another fireball goes off, wiping out the room underneath. It's complete inferno ablaze underneath you. Uh, you're both probably at the top of the ladder. I'm going to say about 20 feet up and above, but the flames are roaring, and it's going to start picking up and chasing you real soon. What are you doing? Cool. I stand corrected. This is a learning experience. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, I would suggest us going away from the flames. Yeah, yeah. Um, Quickly, time cool. is a factor. I'm gonna shape change. Okay. Uh, I, if I have to use a spell slot to alter self, um, and. Um, Fuck me, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you know what, fuck it, no. Uh, I get fucking shape change to be like s fucking a, a slightly buffer guy for story reasons, because I've already said it. Um, <laughs> and I would like to pull the Warforged onto a piggyback and I say, hold on, and I'm just gonna burn my feet. Okay. I'm just gonna walk, th run through the flame, take all the fucking damage on my lower legs and hold him out of the way as best I can. Cool. And whilst on you, we'll lean forward and go, you can but try. <laughs> and oh, that will buddy. be guidance. Thanks, for you. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is what I'm going to do. Okay, you climb the ladder. Uh, I'm not going to make you roll so, for that. Yeah, you've got D4 um, but you the take, there. Uh, one point of fire damage as a flame <laughs> lick the bottom of your feet. You climb up, you climb up. You both hear yelling in the distance about another two, three floors up. You hear hurried runs as the explosion's gone on underneath you. You keep climbing. You take another one point of fire damage on your feet at this point. Um, point of exhaustion. Yep. Oh, wait. Yes, we've already... No, ignore me. No, leave that alone. That's fine. Um, cool. Tutorial. Are you doing anything at this point? Are you just along for the ride? Uh, just along for the ride. Just kind of like... Great. Uh, cool. In that case, I'll cast haste on myself. Okay. And I will pick up the fucking pace. Okay. With haste, without without any problems, you double up, you climb. Fire now behind. You feel the smoke nope, rising. Never up. mind. I don't have a third level. Never mind. You take don't worry one, about it. Fuck me up. One more floor. You take four points of damage. Hell yeah. Uh, fire damage as the flames lick up your legs and <laughs> your trousers begin to set on fire. Toot. Uh, with that, didn't quite get away. You take a point of fire damage on top of that as well. It starts to catch up with Groovy. both of you. You get up to another floor, sprinting through past tapestries, rugs, fine pieces of art, candles. Everything's starting to burn around you. The fire engulfing the entire place. You get to the top floor. Just quickly enough to see the footsteps of one of the mages sprinting up onto the landing on top of the building completely. Do you chase? Yeah, we'll follow that man. Cool. You you run. You okay. You yeah. Want... Cool. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'm. A, I'm. I'm. You have agency as well on this too. I got. I got nothing. I'm. I'm. I'm piggybacking right now. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Liza is just like. <laughs> Stealth or speed. Uh, speed. Fuck speed. it. Cool. Right, you, you take off, you run, and you, you arrive at the very top, just in time to see one of them look at you, 
flash a smile and grab a rope dangling from the sky. You are now outside. Fab. Grabs a rope and suddenly <laughs> tugged into the sky and then <laughs> vanished. Cool beans. We are at the top of a burning building, yes? Yeah, top of a, bu- a bur- burning building right now. What can I see? Uh, you can see flames and smoke start to look all around you. you Is are, there only um, one building in this entire entire village? Absolutely not. You are you are. Uh, um, give me some the... something to work with. Sure. Please, give God. me give me two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> no, if that's you, it. It's one building really in an empty carefully, empty space. There's a termite leaving. <laughs> <laughs> if you roll a natural twenty, I will let you see the termite. <laughs> Thank you. Go Thank on. You. Have a go. Have a go. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Looking around, um, you are definitely one of the more affluent parts of town. Um, you are standing above all other buildings in this area. Um, though looking around, you do see a lot of commons folk, guards, everyone coming in for one of the cast style tower buildings is burning about. Um, looking around, though, you do see the marketplace not too far from here. There's another building maybe about three stories below, um, which is going to be what probably roughly a I want to say a ten meter drop. Cool. Uh, um, do I see fountains or sources of water anywhere? Uh, make a perception check for me, please. You can both do this if you would like. Yeah. Perception. It's a 12. Uh, okay. Toot, I need, I need water. Oh, uh, 16. 16. Toot, uh, you don't manage to spot it through the smoke, but you manage to be able to peer through, and you do see a fountain. Uh, it's a bit of a jump, if that's what you're thinking. It's probably... But it's, it is, there is a fountain with quite a thin base. Um, I'm going to do something fucking insane. Let's do it. Cool. So, if you, when you say you want water, I kind of hold up Liza. Thank you. Like, there is this. Also, the fountain over there. Great. Um, the fountain's about 20 feet wide with a fine wooden sculpture in the middle of an elf with a bow spraying water. It's it's a bit tacky, but it gets the job okay, done. Okay, so uh, <laughs> with shape water, I can move and freeze water. Yes. I can do uh, that on a five-foot cube at a time. What I would like to do is I would, Where is this going? Shut up. <laughs> I would like to I would like to move water towards us, freeze into a slide, and then basically I'm going to slow our fall one tiny platform at a time. Okay. Over and over again at every six seconds. What is the range of shape water? I don't know. <laughs> His, what is, how is the range? It's probably not 60 great. Feet. 60 feet. 60 feet. I'm looking. 60 feet. 60 feet. It's probably 60 feet. 20. 30 feet. Okay. It's not enough. To it's reach not the enough, but we have two canteens. You do, and Liza is full of water. Liza is oh, always, Liza is full of water. Liza is always okay, full sorry, of water. I'm just Can like, Liza is a, it's is a bucket. It's <laughs> canonical. Liza, always full of water. Yeah. yeah. Endless, uh, endless decanter, whatever. Yeah. I, I kiss Liza's little buckety face. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Liza's voice now. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> you do this to yourself. I you do. Know. I do. Yeah. Cool. I tip Liza out, Great. and I begin creating steps, essentially, for me to slow our fall down as I just run down, essentially, run down the side of the building, okay. trying to slow us as much as physically fucking possible. Great. As we fall. Uh, this is fucking Toy Story flying is just falling with thinking, style that's uh, where we're going I was thinking the third Hobbit movie um, with Legolas running out oh. of the bridge but that is a terrible <laughs> reference yeah. bad movie uh, right did you just I did it's... I did our oh, country's man. tourism will never recover it will never us. recover from this, this little YouTube <laughs> Peter series Peter Jackson's gonna doing. get you he's gonna find you <laughs> Weta will find you and swallow you whole <laughs> <laughs> Middle Earth. Put you in a big trot in one of their big You know what? We've, we've done Middle Earth for like 20, 30 years now. It's fine. We've, we've had our time. All right. Cool. You smooch Liza. The water comes out and uh, you start to run. Um, I need... Because you are very high up. You're a good like oh, 150 feet in the air. Sure. So I need an athletics check. Now... It's a straight roll if you're doing it by yourself. Yeah. It's disadvantage if you're carrying toot. I'm carrying or... toot. I'm going to take my guidance and I'm just going to fucking see what happens. And if I get turned into jam, I get turned into jam. My only my only thing at this moment is to soak the damage for them to. That's it. Okay. If, I, if both my legs break and splinter, you know what? Fair cop. Cool. I will say a fall from the side will kill toot outright. There won't be any death saves. Fuck's sake. Um, that's cool. Just, no just so you're problem. aware, that I need to make sure you know the consequences of what, what you're about to... <laughs> consequences for our actions. I know, right? What? My actions? <laughs> what? Okay, I have a question. Um, can I 
take 2d6 necrotic damage for Wither and Bloom. Okay. And then give Toot the hit point healing. Absolutely. Will that make any difference? Um, well, if you were to fall off this tower right now, it would be 15d6 damage. <laughs> Lol, no, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I'm such a broken little boy. <laughs> you know what? I tried my fucking you best. You did. You. Re- I, I mean... Oh, actually, here's a question. And not because I'm just, like, fucking fumbling for <laughs> things. Um, can I spend my remaining sorcery points to empower my cantrip in using empowered spell? Yes. To will, increase my chances of not killing I will allow that, and both. it can be a straight roll athletic instead of disadvantage. There you Fuck go. Fuck it. I will spend all three of my sorcery points. We're going to kill both our new characters. And I've still and got my guidance. And we just got those minis. I just, just, we just got just those arrived. minis. Oh, don't worry. And you're going to so, so love cool. my look, other character. Look, look, at, look at how good they are. All they're right, so let's cool. Watch them die. Right. But you're really going to love the other character. Naomi. Athletics shift. Just please. in case, you know. Just in case. So I did roll already. <laughs> and I rolled a five <laughs> with a guidance of two. And then athletics of minus one. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, honey. Okay. Uh, As we're falling. Hang on. <laughs> right, you cast a spell, you kiss Liza, the bucket comes out, the ice steps start oh to God. appear and begin to fall in midair. You take a couple, it's good, and then you slip. Yeah. You start to fall. Yeah. Two. You had the option to jump off and try and... Jump off, baby cakes. <laughs> jump off. I've driven this car right <laughs> off a cliff. You've managed to make it about four steps, maybe about, I'd say, 15 feet away from the building, and you've already dropped about 20 feet. So there's still 130 feet to go as you're falling, but you can you can attempt to try some other shenanigans if you would like. What other shenanigans are there? I don't know, mate. This is, uh-huh. this is what I'm throwing at you. Okay, okay. So there's a fountain. You've got over 60 there. seconds. Axe into the no- ax, like axe into the ice to at least like. Uh, if you cast spiritual weapon and you're using your bucket as a spiritual weapon, but spiritual weapon can move 20 feet per round, and that's not 40 seconds related to spiritual weapon. <laughs> okay. So, Liza spiritual weapon, Liza, <laughs> kind of underneath, just like. <laughs> <laughs> moving closer and closer to the fountain. So okay. Every few seconds, just this little kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're basically glitching. I'm glitching. With a broken bucket. Oh my. Okay. Glitching with this broken bucket to save my little broken body. <laughs> and okay. when it when it gets to about let's say twenty feet, gonna jump towards the fountain and try and send Liza back to try and get No baby cakes, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so I can make a Liza won't mini make before it. any of this <laughs> before any of this happens. Yeah. I need an athletics check please. Oh cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally fine. Why did I look? <laughs> Why would I look at that? Why did I look at that, everyone? I'm going to die. So that's a six. Uh, athletics, is it? Yeah. Could I do a flip? <laughs> do a sweet flip. Acrobatics. I do a back flip. Uh, so that's 12. Okay. You, you, you attempt to leap. You try to do the glitch with Liza, and it doesn't work. And all three of you start to fall. A crowd forms at the bottom. (laughs) Onward! (laughs) I can, but try. Um, Four. Oh, is this something you'd like to try? Do you have feather fall? I'm I'm asking. Do you have conjure trampoline? No, Wait. I didn't take a lot of um, I lo- a lot of utility spells, which I'm thinking maybe was a mistake. Um, I I do have I do have catapult or shield, but like it's just it's it's not going to matter. I'm built I'm, I'm I'm built to help others and smash things. Uh, this is fun. <laughs> 
does it help if I said we went down and then you made us go all the way to the top? Does that, no? We're fucked, it doesn't matter, it's okay. Um, <sighs> five seconds. Or I'm telling you what happens. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be to just. Can, can I do an alter self? and make myself just like a big fucking bucket of goo as a shock absorber for the, for the boys. Okay. Hang on. So you, you turn Toot into a bucket of goo? No, I no. turn me into a bucket of goo. Okay. I'm a shock for absorber. To land in. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. that's, that's you great. are goo. You are goo. Okay, and cool. So we'll, and so we'll levels, kind of... It's my last second level spell slot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just need to check that. I think it's like I can give myself fucking gills or shit. Like, uh, I think I'm still. You're humanoid. still. You're really just turning yourself into a creature. I'm going to say that's not going to do it, though. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry, it's just changing. Okay. It's basically it's changing parents. Okay. Well, in which case. Here's uh, what happens Suit's going to just pull out another, his final one, smash it on his head, and <laughs> shrug his shoulders and go, Onward! Four. <laughs> you fall. Yeah. Smash her in the ground. Obliterated. Obliterated. Yeah, Jam great. spreads everywhere. The crowd is kind of... Yeah. Lies a bucket. Yeah. Falls, cracks a little bit, water spills out. Yeah. Rocks the jam away. Two. You fall, time slows down for a moment, and then you smash in the ground. Clatter. I need everyone to leave the table, please, except for Reese. I'm sorry. We can but try. Oh God. <laughs> this has been good music for this. Isn't this it? has been great. Tutorial: You hit the ground at terminal velocity and immediately shatter into about 200 pieces. The world goes dark, and a little bit of water from Liza's bucket washes and smudges your face away. You suddenly feel yourself conscious again, but not in your form. You start to float above your body and feeling like a tether almost to the point you were. Like, you can sort of make out, it's not in focus, but shapes seem to drift in and out. And you notice, tied to your body, or what's left of your body at least, one, three, six, nine, twelve, other shapes seem to pop in, all seemingly tethered to this one point, like, like like a bunch of balloons sort of dangling around. You look up, and where you thought you'd see the night sky is complete pitch black. It is silent and airy, but you can see all these other shapes seemingly starting to move and notice that, and you want to join their midst. You're not really sure what this means. What would you like to do? What kind of shapes are they? They they take on almost a humanoid quality by people, similar, similar to yourself, but some short, some tall, some quite skinny, some quite broad, some some larger with, you know, some with big, thick, reptilian-like legs, some with a couple of wings, some feathered, all matter of different body shapes and styles, different genders, different sexes, some no gender or sex at all, some that same uh, uh, androgyn, uh, androgynous form that you yourself have. You're not really sure what you're looking at, but there seems to be a flurry of movement and other people start to circle, like, and you find yourself pulled in with this group, everyone sort of swaying in and around, even as close as some of these other figures get, you're not really sure what you're seeing. Can I see anything kind of back? Can I see where four Landed. You you looked where you think you think four landed, but you don't see. You see a glimpse of light for a second and it goes dark. You look distant elsewhere and you can see another little spot of light and it goes dark again. It seems all over the floor and in the distance you see little pockets of just like little fireflies just throbbing and glowing in and out every now and then. And then around this sort of whirlpool of, of figures, you see a darker red shape 
encircling almost like a shark. Shades of violet and purple seem to like flicker through it a little bit. Still no form, but this one doesn't appear to have a tether tied to the same singular point you share with all of these others. What do, would you like to do? Do I have anything of me, is it? You are formless, white. Not ghostly, but even looking at your hand, um, there's no fingers, it's more a, a mass of smoke and gas. But you are conscious. You are aware, you can see. You believe you can hear, even though no sound can be made. But no one is speaking. I reach out and try and touch one of the other white figures. Sure. You reach your hand out. And immediately it becomes in focus, sharp. Who was the first person you ever trained? Um, it would have been like a trial run by uh, Atlas. Um, it would have been uh, either another one of the Goliaths, or maybe, yeah, another one of the Goliaths. A, a young Goliath woman, shaved head, save for a couple of braids down her shoulders, broad shoulders appears, tattoos down her neck, sharp piercings around her nose, looks at you with steely grey eyes, lost but also surprised, and smi uh, silently, with a smile, regards you, Thankfully, she nods and pushes herself away and drifts into the mist again. And as you touch others, you, you see other similar figures, half-orcs, humans, elves, those, those people, so many that have come through your time, people whose lives you have touched, who have been tied into your own, people you've poured yourself into as time goes on. Each one you touch out and reach, it could go for minutes, for hours, days, weeks, you don't know, time has no meaning here. And until suddenly you find yourself alone, Except for you dangling by yourself with that same red shape encircling on the outside. I go to touch the red shape. It stops. And a handsome face appears in the darkness. Bright teeth, yellow eyes. You're a funny little case, aren't you, my son? I don't think you're meant to be here yet. I can send you back if you would like. There's nowhere else for you to go right now, but don't don't be worried, we are we are fixing that. You have served your friends well, and it seems there is more to you than wood and steel. I'm quite interested to see what happens. So I can send you back, or well, we can cut the cord now and you can drift into the emptiness forever. What would you like? This is the first real decision that Toots had to make. That's lucky it's such a small decision. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You see, most of your type don't really have a soul to speak of, but it seems your maker, Atlas, he put a lot of himself into you, shall we say. Huh. So what will it be? I am a very busy thing. Oh, I understand. I hate to be a bother. I would like to continue to teach. Good. Then teach. And teach you must. May I ask? Yes. Who are you? Oh, my name is Rubel. I had a hand in this at some point. You'll learn more, don't worry. I'm just keeping an eye on things until it uh, opens up again. Thank you so kindly, Rubel. I appreciate the help that you've given us. You're very welcome. Please, by all means, teach away. Don't forget to mention who uh, sent you back. Very well. And with that... Who should I mention it to? Whoever you happen to come by. Very well, I shall. Thank you, Rubel. And with that, a hand reaches out, touches your face and you feel yourself become solid again, and the tether materializes, and you suddenly feel yourself pulled back to your body, and you awake in the streets where screams and panic begin to take place. 
And that's where we will take a break. <laughs> oh my God. Hello, it's us again, Sasha and David. Wrong way. <laughs> ah, hello. <laughs> You're here. Ah, I was not expecting this, even You're though here. I was counted down. We're here. <laughs> and we're here to talk about Patreon. We have one. It's amazing. Yes. You know what we also have that's amazing? There's a Discord channel. There There's is a, a Discord, Discord channel. channel. Server. There's a whole Discord. That, that's One it. One whole Discord. There's a ch I like how, in, you know, like when we play, I'm order and you're chaos. But whenever we do this, you're order and I'm chaos. It's lovely. Yeah, that's because I am a businesswoman. Yes, David. and I'm insane. Yeah. There's also going to be bonus content. There's going to be content that you couldn't get access to at the same time before, but now you can. Ooh. That made sense. How many takes? Has it been? <laughs> and yeah, there's just gonna be loads of extra bits and pieces, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, anything that we do will probably pop up on there first. So yeah, go check it out. Sash, what else do we have to see? Matt, stop laughing. <laughs> so if you're looking forward to just finding out a bit more about what we're doing behind the scenes, helping us keep Matt stocked with hats, keep the padlocks on his cage. He needs so many hats. Oh, so many hats. But yeah, come check it out. We'll see you there. Oh, Bye. and thank you so much for all your love and support. <laughs> I'm saying it before Matt yells at me again. Really clenched it there, buddy. Really clenched it. Right. Bye, kids. <laughs>
And amongst this realization, the vomit, uh, <laughs> you feel yourself being grabbed and handled by by dozens of strangers checking in, and you hear in different languages, different. Like, are you okay? What's wrong? How did how did you do that? That's amazing. What, you you plummeted five hundred feet. From I'm the not skin. listening to any of yeah. them. I'm I'm like, like, like grabbing like like a couple of people prodding you like you please get back get back the building's about to cut and like I'm <laughs> just as crawling. The tower like trying to pull my way across the, the, the cobblestones towards Tutorial. Cool. And le- less people are around, no one really cares about what appears to be well, a, a fucking wrong training dummy. But you get there. You hold his blank face in your hand. I think with uh, the edge of my robe, I, I unsmudge his little face. And I Doesn't put- work. It's f- fuck. <laughs> um, the face doesn't unsmudge. In fact, the eyes look around a little bit. No longer a drawing, now seemingly attached to the wood. And the face starts to shake, and you start to hear it. There's like little scraps of wood start to rumble and pile, and Toot begins to rebuild in front of your eyes. A soft red glow seemingly coming in as they come in and start to reconstruct all around. Toot, you feel yourself sucked back in, and a very sad, slightly green vomit around the face. Four is staring worriedly down, looking at you, with about 30, 40 other people also standing over top, wondering what just happened. There, there. I'm okay. (laughs) Uh, I think that, like, four just, like, this is... This is like one day's worth of life <laughs> entirely. Like there's, it's been like a lot. And uh, me as a player, th- this is my boy. <laughs> and if I hurt him, I will cry. Uh, you, so you know, like- you, you start to cry, but you're not sure if it's the bone still mending inside your body as you are very much in a lot of pain still. Yeah, I, I, I go and I'm like- Is there anything I can do to help? There, there. You'll get him next time. I understand. We will get them next time. I have questions. But we should avoid the burning building. (laughs) Um, I uh, cradle this broken boy in my lap and I just try and like clean off some of the stuff as like he comes all together. That's an interesting sensation. Ooh. Sensation. <laughs> you suddenly realize, too, your face now moves. You don't have a mouth, Aww. but <laughs> when you speak, your whiteboard, crayon, whatever marker, mouth moves in the proper shape. Your eyes look around. It's been oh, uncanny. That's And as you look up, you mm. see the burning building collapsing, and as guards and people start trying to pull you back oh. away, oh, you dear. notice... Make a general intelligence check for me, please. Sorry, he ain't, I'm he so ain't sorry. smart. <laughs> uh, so, general intelligence. Uh, that's a three. The smoke is going Stop up looking at into it. the sky. Huh. Um. I can see smoke. I can see the sky. But yeah. Can I ask? You can ask. I can ask. <laughs> yeah. I can ask. Myla. Hi. You scatter and skitter I away. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Smooth um, is good. Without any issue, you manage to get out of the encampment, slipping under doors and between cracks, dodging a couple more boots than you'd feel comfortable doing. You pop outside the gate, and you look to see, now in the evening sky, a bright beacon of fire happening. And you recognize it's where you were before. What would you like to do? Um, the termite equivalent of go, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like... <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, like, it, it lifts one leg and goes like... Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful <laughs> moment. Well timed. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Great. Thank you. 
off it off it scuttles okay. towards the burning building, cool. being like, which which member of my party has done this? <laughs> it could it's good as good as good. <laughs> like I said, member singular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Why limit ourselves? Yeah. For the sake of brevity, you you make your way through, you get to the crowd and you yeah. do manage to find uh, a very distraught floor oh, cradling. For what it's worth, remaining a termite. Sure. Like still a termite. I need you, because as you're working through your way through hundreds, if not thousands. She doesn't need to go through the people. Like, okay. she might, she's just gonna like wait, but she wants to try and get eyes on these two. You scuttle up. Scuttle up a little building. Yep. Little look. Cool. From an edge, just and like you, you manage to spot, and there's like, the rest of the crowd are giving them quite a wide berth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple fun. of other people who, to the side, who are burned or being treated, but seemingly healing and getting up like nothing's happened. And whispers are coming through the crowd now, and you hear this, but. I survive. What, what is this? Oh, that's a great question. I don't, I don't know. Um. <clears throat> huh. Panic is beginning to settle into the city. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would like to perceive this, if that's cool. You can. I have a passive perception of nine, so f- do with that what you will. <laughs> um. People are panicked. It's probably because there's a big burning building and no one knows what happened. Okay. Um. I would like I would like, I would like to help. Excuse me. And so Toot will get up and get Liza. Say, I believe we should form a chain. Okay. I, uh, I, uh, the two is the leader now, and I'm just doing <laughs> as I'm told. But my job is to corral the people and be like, now what you've seen is is a is a real magical wonder, but this fire, he won't, he won't be defeated unless we work together. And I'm doing my like standing up on the ledge, like, and corralling people into lines. Um, and I say I know that these are difficult times, but what we really have. It's just each other, and then I get them to like, and then there's a fucking smash cut, and they were like, <laughs> you, know, you get, you get the vibe. Okay. Uh, the, the strings are getting me. Okay, don't fuck with <laughs> me like this. I need a performance check. Oh hell yeah, baby! All so, through this, Toot is going up and throwing Liza. Liza has no water. Liza is leaking. Liza took a big knock. Oh no. Twenty-three. Oh Everyone. shit. Good job. <laughs> All right. With the twenty-three, the crowd immediately and some summon some sort of reverence, seeing you put yourself back together like this. Like that's absolutely what you say. And yeah, without without issue, uh, helping you organize people, put the fire out, and things seem to be at least calming down for a moment. I'm soothing Liza, and take will take Liza to the fountain, dunk them in, see where the leaks are, and try and kind of put them together as much as possible. Right, Milo. What are you doing during all this? I'm a termite. I'm a termite. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what termites can do. Chew up wood, put it out, and make a new thing. Just in case there was a small boy made of wood who was suffering at this time, like a bucket. Sure. Um, she will do that at, when you leave the large crowd of stompy people. Um, but right now, she's on a little ledge. She's watching. As you watch, and you watch the smoke go up. Same with your passive wisdom. <laughs> You're smarter than yeah, us. You, you notice as the smoke scene. goes up. It feels like it's weird. You know, there's no wind, but it feels like it suddenly it's like it hits something. It's going up and around something in the sky, but there's nothing. There's nothing there. It's a little cloudy, but it's not like you know. Mm-hmm. Goes up and around and then vanishes. It's just a bit bizarre. Doesn't make sense. That is pretty weird. It's pretty weird. She's she's gonna wait for a bit until there's less people around these two, basically. Cool. So are you, are you dispersing them. and trying to get get people out, or what? What are you doing? Uh, um, I don't. So are there are there people? There's a of, good. Is probably the, just yeah. about a thousand people around? Is the fire going to be taken care of? The fire is being taken care of at this point cool. now, with, with the help with the guards, with the townsfolk. They've, they've managed to come in. Like it's a town made of wood. They've got a pretty rigid fire system in in place. Yeah. Uh, for this so, sort of thing. I believe. They have this in hand. We should go. If that's what you want to do, then that is uh, what we will do. 
I would like. I would like to go. Oh, okay. We should find somewhere where we can talk and find the others. Okay. Okay. And to reiterate, I'm very well. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, as they leave, turn my Myla. <laughs> scuttling, on, scuttling on down. Um, and she's going to come. Wait, wait, wait. How does Toot feel about termites? <laughs> no experience of them before. Oh, okay, or, or if it is, it's been watching them chew through beams. Just kind of sat watching them slowly <laughs> chew through beams over it's a like period a time of years. Lapse. Yeah. And just like, huh. But now actually has feelings about it. It's like, oh, oh dear. So the termite yeah. is going to literally just go go up you, and then sit on your shoulder and look at you. Four. <laughs> it will look at four. I will help. <laughs> I will pick up the termite. <laughs> Are you going to do anything? Myla, while this is a difficult situation, she has a precedent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, in which case. Yeet. <laughs> you yeet the termite. I yeet the termite. Okay, so as you go like that, it just turns back into my, so it's sort of like a, a snow elf just sort of like, <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Four, it's Myla. Myla, it's four. Four, it's two. Toot, I'm toot. You are. Uh, <laughs> uh, We've had a time. So have I. Uh, have you found? No. Tall sad boy. Right. Um. The people who were chasing Alexi. Yes. Yeah, the sanguine gauntlet. Oh. They uh, disappeared into the sky. Yes. Oh. Well, that's weird because the smoke's doing something strange up in the sky. You look up and you both notice what, what I pointed out. I can see the sky. Except, okay, except two. <laughs> um, he was like, I never looked up before. <laughs> uh, do I have any knowledge of uh, dirigibles and such like from the experience as a fucking sacrifice of d- d- a admin group? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what, what, what are you asking? Do I know anything? When I look at it, I'm like, oh, well, I guess that's a thing that happens. Or am I like... No, you you know enough basic life and physics that okay, I'm never gas sure. Gas and smoke has to go around things. Okay, something is blocking that, and potentially something invisible. Yeah, or at least a force pressing down on that. Uh, out of the people who have helped us with the fire, yes, do I spot anyone who looks like they have arcanic abili- ability, who I might be able to press for assistance? Uh. Yeah, yeah, you uh, you're, you're able to look through. Uh, you do you do see a wood elf who was sort of like leading some of the charge, um, using some of that fountain to shoot water up. Yeah. Um, in, in quite fine, green green robes and, and, and blonde hair, pierce pierce blue eyes. Um, I have uh the background haunted one. Great. Which is the people that will help me, fun. but they're also afraid of me. <laughs> 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 Freaked out by my general existence. Cool. Uh, just to set the tone, um, I'm going to uh, suddenly take an about turn uh, and just head like straight on, like no, it's very determined. No, like ooh, I'm just no, it's like I'm coming for you, like just cool straight through the crowd. You cut through the crowd, which is now started to disperse. Now the fire is mostly out. Um, and you, you approach, uh, yeah, this, this elf, um, named, uh, sort of looks like, ah! Yes. Um, sort of like leading the last few people in and like throwing water around the fire. For the I grab their hand in mine and I say, today has been very difficult. Why are you holding my hand? But the difficulties do not stop. Yeah, why are you holding my hand? <laughs> Listen to me. I'm listening. Why are you Focus. holding my hand? Focus! Uh, mm. The moon is going to explode, and only you and I can stop it. Which one? Not the one that's already got the crack in it, obviously. Oh, is that a Riley? It's a long time ago. Uh, no. 
It's the other one. Oh. And millions will die if we do not work together. Right. I need to get up there. And I I look at Myla for backup. Yeah, um, can we get up there? The sky. No. You see where the smoke is doing something a bit weird? What's the fuck? It probably going means on? there's something up there, and maybe that caused the burning building, because it's directly above it, so we thought we'd go investigate yeah. because no. No. We, we caused the burning building. <laughs> Can you let my hand go now, please? I'm oh. so sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> Gods! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi. <Okay. laughs> Hi. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's Novatel is it. walking Fuck. calmly towards. God, I forgot it's called Novatel. <laughs> not, not, not approach. Just, just, just like, like a saunter almost. Just <laughs> taking you in, sizing you up. So, how much do you really know of the uh, cast of history? I, I'm not I, I'm not particularly good at um, personal space. Oh, that's a shame. I'd like to uh, hang, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'll, I'll pay you, and you'll go away. Um, and Alexi <laughs> goes into his bag and pulls out an orange potion and flicks the top of it, and he goes, "Now, back the fuck away." Holy or shit! We, <laughs> or we all die. Intimidation check. With advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gave us that time in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Um, both terrible. Ten. Now you see, think about when you make a ship made of wood. You you look out for these sorts of things. When it's not clumsy cast of architecture where you build a wooden city, a wooden tower, and a wooden city. Ah, oh, but I wouldn't do that because there's no way you're surviving that. I've heard. <laughs> Quite a painful way. Can't really die, but I'd rather not burn for a while. I'm sure you wouldn't either. Oh, um, uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, about that. R- rather funny. Um, and Alexi just pulls out something else and just throws uh, another vial at his feet. Is it the Grey Ooze vial? Hmm? What, what, what vial is that, sorry? <laughs> the oil of slipperiness. Hell yeah! I, mean, I love holding the oil the of slipperiness. the orange potion going. Um, sorry, uh, really, really quickly. <laughs> okay, all right, back the fuck up. <laughs> the oil of slipperiness is flammable, is it not? <laughs> yes, we're rolling initiative. <laughs> we're rolling initiative on this one, bro. All right. Uh, one moment, please. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Don't. Fuck oh, you can look at them. Do you have to say good rolls? No, uh, we, 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 we won't look. We will good look. Good rolls. Like all right. Yeah. Uh, that would be a 17. Natural 20. Oh! oh. oh. Tits. Just taking a photo of that We should now. have looked at Matt's. Yes. <laughs> we will gaze Stay away intimately at Matt's dice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you can throw the oil with slipperiness or drink the potion. You cannot do both. Um, I'm go- Well, I've got the, the vial is in one hand. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to throw the oil at his feet. Cool. You, so you th- just kind of like in a pool in front of me. Great, great. Yep. I'm going down, you're going <clears throat> down with me. <laughs> cool. You, you throw it down and it's and it sort of like, sort of quickly covers his feet in a viscous movement. Ah, uh, viscous amount. Cool. Walking cover medium sized creature. Okay. Directly at his feet. He's now he's now covered um, at this point. Great. You sure you want to do this? I haven't had some good exercise in quite a while. Um, well, not terribly sure, but you seem to be rather intent on it. Um, it's just... Well, you see, you've mistakenly made the assumption that that I um, actually g- care uh, whether or not I die. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to keep you as a gift. Your sister reward me very handsomely. Ah, ah, yes, there it is, isn't it? Uh, n- no, no, you see, it's, it's okay, it, 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 it's a very common shh, mistake. Shh, um, shh, no, shh, I don't think I will. Okay, he sticks his sword in with a fucking three. <laughs> <laughs> we were we look at you. We you. Look at you. <laughs> All right. And he begins to like, try and close your mouth with, with the tip of his rapier. 
across your lips. Uh, and what do you do? Alexei just in a lightning fast motion uh, draws his rapier and just parries it to the side. Very good. Fine. Uh, he's going to begin to slowly encircle. Now, just with all the slipperiness, there is no. What's about this breathing in the in the, in the, in the background? Uh, do you want me to? Ah, oh, it's the grease spell. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. More. <laughs> cool. He's he's, sta- he's not moving. He's standing. He's I've seen this trick before. All right then. <laughs> he's gonna set himself. Uh, and on fire. No. And what have you got? Cool. Your turn. Okay. Um. It lasts for an hour. I can choose one, I breathe fire. Bonus action, I drink the potion of fire breathing. Great. Uh, action, I cast Mind Slither. <laughs> nice. Can you please tell me what that spell does, <laughs> uh, Mr. Man. Cox? Intelligence save. <laughs> God, it's all happening to me, isn't it? <laughs> this is part one of a multi-tiered plan. Okay. Wait, people have plans? Yeah. What? I'm Alexi not... has plans. It's, <laughs> okay, very, it's okay. very difficult playing a character who's smarter than you. Um, <laughs> hey. Aw, okay. oh, honey. Do not do Tell yourself down. Tell your smarties in the comments. There you yeah. Go. Oh, do not do yourself down. Um, or oh, vengeance. You drive a disorientating spike of psychic energy into the mind of one creature you can see within range. The creature takes 1d6 psychic damage and uh, subtracts 1d4 from the next saving throw before the end of my next turn. Um, so, actually, it's going to be 2d6. So, uh, intelligence saving throw, please. 18. Shit. Never mind, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You, 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 you concentrate for a second and move, but yeah, just glance at it completely. You swear you almost parried. So he just bounced off. Oh, is that all you've got? I'm disappointed, Mr. Karstav. Lord. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know Lord Karstav, and you're certainly not him. Now, Shall we? And with a flourish, he whips out a pistol, takes an aim. Uh, sorry, you got a sword drawn at this point? Or yeah. Not? You do. Cool, takes an aim, he's going to try a disarming shot and to shoot your rapier out of your hands. <laughs> it's natural 20 again, bro. Oh, God damn, 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 I was sort of vaguely glancing in that direction. <laughs> yeah, we need to be, we need to be we need more to direct. Be both. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. With, with a quick whip, as he brings you in with his, with his, with his voice, I take a shot. Uh, cool. You take... Uh, that is 11 doubled up to 22 points of piercing damage and your rapier is shot from your hand <laughs> clatters into the corner don't lose another rapier <laughs> <laughs> stick him up cowboy howdy sword in one hand gun in the other um, uh, and he's going to use his bonus action <laughs> No. Actually, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's going to hold his back. No. Carry on. Okay. Yeah. Which corner? What do you mean? Is it within reaching we're, distance? We're right, we're right here. So. Oh, oh, oh the corner. Uh, we'll just stay here in the corner. It's about 10 feet away from you. You can still cool. pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Alexi, eye contact is just going to keep looking at him. Yeah. Walk over, pick up the rapier. Gun trains. Clicks to go again. Cool. Still your turn. Pick up the rapier. And just go. Just so we're clear, this was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, yep. Fire all over the flammable thing. Great. Uh, burn, 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 ring of fire. fire. Uh, I'm not down. sure what the stats are on it. Give me one second. Uh, that's okay. I don't know why I'm in such a singy mood. I think it's, it's good. The, I think it's, it's the, the tension. Yeah. 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 It's a, there's a lot of tension yeah. to be diffused. 13. Dexterity saving throw, um, which I'm assuming is potentially disadvantage because he's some flammable shit. Uh, yeah, we'll say disadvantage. Uh, with a two plus three, he cool. fails. So with a five, okay. cool. Um, <laughs> so forty-six damage to him, and that entire place is now ablaze. Great, cool. Oof. Uh, not bad. Thirteen points of fire damage. Cool. And it all burns. Great. Um, immediately it lights up, and he he yells, and you immediately hear a stampede of feet uh, coming in from the side. He's going to use his action to try and pat himself out on the next turn. 
Uh, that's it, and he's going to start to try and move away. Uh, he fails his dexterity saving throw, so he slips and falls. Oh, that's bad. Uh, that's not good, so he's going to take more fire damage then, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, yep, so the next turn, uh, it's going to be nine, another point, 13 points of fire damage on top of that as he slips. <sighs> he looks dejected. Help! <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, he's going to start to crawl to the door, though. Prone on his stomach. Fantastic. Your turn. Okay. Um, you still got another use of fire breath, don't you? No, it just has one it's use. Just the one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, carry on. Um, okay. Your turn. I would like to run towards where he is. Mm-hmm. Um. And uh, not through the fire, presumably. <laughs> is there a way around, or do I have to run through the fire? I think at this point, with how much spread, yeah, there's there's just fire. Okay. Oh, so I can skirt around that. You can go around that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. He's still in the blaze. He is in the blaze at the moment. Yes. What's this guy's voice sound like again? I forgot. Uh, uh, slightly creepy, Matt. Right. Creepy cool. posh, Matt. Creepy posh, Matt. I thought it was a uh, like with a little howdy. No. Oh yeah, no, he does have a little. Oh yeah, he was American. He's, oh, he was. That's right. Yeah. He, has, like, he yeah. has a little hitch in his giddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, now it's just a bit dirty now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Help Ale- me. <laughs> Help. Help. <laughs> Alexi will uh, run over, look at him while he's in the fire, and he was just is going to wave a hand and suddenly takes on the appearance of the captain. Disguise as self. I cast disguise self. Okay. And then I'm gonna call, help! The car stab just cast some kind of spell. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like me. Get in here. Okay. And there's two clones, and you must and shoot one of us. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the door. Cool. Uh, you go through the door. The door is locked. He did lock it. <laughs> he locked the door behind him. Uh, that is your turn. He's gonna try and get up. He fails. <laughs> More fire damage. Uh, oh god, I'm rolling. You want to roll the damage because I'm rolling. How many am I rolling? Uh, 46. Because he's covered in oil. Looking over this oh, thing. that is good. That is 20 points of fire damage. Get in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I shan't. <laughs> uh, okay. Get in the bin of greatness. Uh, three figures immediately run in. That's a great bin. <laughs> into the door. You hear it unlock. Uh, one more waiting just outside. Captain, ca- I've got him in the fire. He's cast some kind of spell. Kill him now! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Deception check with advantage. Yep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I should have looked at Matt. I should have looked at Matt. It was, it was a one and five. Seven. Oh my god! <laughs> with a three. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And immediately pull out the weapon and start wailing on him. And oh, Jesus. Yelling and screaming until he is cut down. Oh, Fantastic. Fantasy, well, uh, Jesus. Uh, Alexi will turn around to the. Sorry. Novotel will turn around to the next. Novotel. One. There we go. Novotel. Done. <laughs> um, um, be like, take me to the wizard. We've got to get him. We've got to get this fire out before the whole plague burns down. You, you, you mean her, sir? Yeah, now! <laughs> oh, who have you just? <laughs> cool. I don't, also, I said M, not him. <laughs> all right. Mm. Get him. All right, all right. I'll allow, I'll allow. Cool. They take you out. There's a couple more to stay to put, put out the fire. Yeah, it's yeah. fine, it's fine. And they, they're like putting out the fire. Um, cool. You have free reign, I guess. Great. Yep. You now, for the first time, come out onto the ship. Yep. And expecting a sail ship, instead, it's a long stretch of wood with walls on one side, all is magically moving, and it feels almost like a giant long canoe. About 60, 70, 80 feet ahead, there is a raised altar with three golden rings spinning around on it, like a nexus, and this strange looking, quite deformed woman sitting in front with her back, with her hands raised above it. She's, she's right there, sir. On your way, go. Quick, they go back in to deal with Alexi. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Cast up, <tab>, scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi, 
having not planned this far. Um, <laughs> I uh, just didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> yeah, I want to look at this uh, old woman. Like, what what can I determine looking? Sure, at? sure. Getting close. She has her back to you at this point. She hasn't noticed you. Um, let me get my notes up. Always have it on ready. Where is she? Get she out! Is. Get out! Get out! <laughs> I, I don't know. Cool. Um, <laughs> um, an elf. Not, it's not a snow elf, but wood elf. Yeah. Um, but still grey skin, thin, wispy hair. Yep. Bone thin, like, yep. like hasn't eaten in several, several days. Her arms joined in about three different places. Like, she has three different elbows. Her hands raised with a slight cackle. Um, not wearing any shirts or anything. Just, just thin turning to the bottom. You notice her ankles are chained to the bottom. She is chanting... Um, you notice there are three rings, probably about each 15 feet wide, spinning and swirling slowly, and there's an arcane energy pouring off into the distance. You also notice there is smoke rising on each side of the boat, and it begins to hit your nostrils. The walls are about 10 to 15 feet high on each side, thick, dark wood, and the entire ship leads to a point with a small cover on the front leading back with what you assume to be the captain's quarters on, on the front of the ship. Okay, so she is at the front, of, very front of the ship? Yes, yeah. Okay, uh, is there any sort of like railing or anything around, or is she just kind of like perched on the edge? She's perched on an altar, um, and there's stairs up on either side with a railing around, but no one's really paying her much mind. Okay, yep. um, I want to go up the altar. Cool. And... Um, She's chained to it. Yeah, okay. yeah. You want to go up the altar, um, and Alexia's going to stand sort of like close enough, still looking like the captain. Cool. And... Uh, What's your spell save DC for Disguise Self? 13. Okay. Yeah, and he is going to say, (laughs) tell me what it is you're doing now. Yes, sir. I am keeping the ship afloat and out of sight as requested. Requested by whom? By you, sir. Well Until done. remaining cast arms are captured, sir. Very good, sir. How are you to live now, sir? Not yet. We're to lower the ship. We're having some trouble getting the rest is of the car stops. because cast off has impersonated you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I detain you now, sir? A stab her in the neck. Oh, my what? fuck! <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> He's not a... Good person. He's really not. No. Make an attack roll. Please. She said, "Shall I detain you now?" Oh no! This Make is... an attack roll. Oh, 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 newfound tutorials can have words. Nineteen. <laughs> oh yeah, without without issue, straight through. Very good, sir. Is there anything else? Roll damage. <laughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> <laughs> Uh, 11 points of damage. <sighs> cool. Uh, she immediately... It was a pleasure serving you, sir. She does. So you don't have Featherfall. Just just confirming. Cool, nope. cool, cool. The uh, rings continue moving, but she now falls limp for now on the altar. Okay, great. Right. Blood seeping into the floor, into the woods panels underneath. Okay, um, this ship, does it have some kind of, like, bow? Do each of the rings control a different aspect of the ship? So, like, a forward, a backward, an up and down, or a left and right? I mean, be... if you didn't kill the, the person straight away, I could that tell you that. That would be sick as hell. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's an axis. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, you don't hear any alarm bells yet, but there are people around further back from where you came that have noticed the smoke and started to look down at something burning down there. Cool. Trying to learn on the job. Um, <laughs> Alexi's gonna stand over the rings and try and figure this shit out. Okay, so each one of these rings is about 15 feet tall. Okay. And they're encircling each other. All right, make an arcana check. Yep. Put your hand in I a also ritual just want to stress, circle. these are moving very quickly. They're not like, they're like. <laughs> yep. Nothing could possibly go wrong. I was looking at like, sorry. 15. Okay, sorry. So that's okay, that's okay, we're okay. <laughs> with a 15, you're smart enough to not try and touch or interfere with it, but you can make out there are runes written on it, but it's going too fast for you to make anything out at this point. Um, you also notice around the side there are different sort of like orbs implanted in, in the Ooh, ground. Orbs. Yeah. We, we love a good orb. <laughs> Who doesn't okay. love orbs? Yeah. That's it. 
That's it. That's all you can surmise with a 15. It, this is well beyond anything you've read. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. All right. Well, in what precious little time I have left, I would like to... You idiots! He's out there now! <laughs> oh, fuck. You hear the door <laughs> slam open. Goosh! A burned captain now. <laughs> Coming back. Steps out with three cronies. <laughs> I guess I dropped this guy's self then. Cool. <laughs> Alexi cast up reappears. Um, okay, right. Is there anything like... Okay, right. So here's, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I am going to improvise a parachute. Okay. However, first things first, I want to make sure that I'm not being followed. Okay. Are there any barrels of gunpowder on this ship? Make a perception check for me. <laughs> you okay, Reese? Reese is having a great time. Oh 14. my god. 14. He's, uh, he's you do see he's not towards the front, there are, <laughs> there's one boy. large cannon, uh, not installed, but set to the side, looking like it will be set up for later. There are two smaller cannons. There are a couple of barrels there. You don't know if it's gunpowder, but there are barrels there at the front of the ship. Okay, is there anything to, um, like... Are the barrels red? There are red barrels on the Thank ship. You. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> cool. Right. Cool. Some sort of large um, gorilla. Just... Alexi is going to quickly crouch down, and what he is going to do is uh, whip out a tapestry from the bag of holding. Okay. Um, and Alarm bells start to ring. Yeah, try and gather this tapestry up so we can hold like all four corners of it with both hands. Okay. Um, but first things first. I'm the real. How far away? What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> How far away is the uh, gunpowder barrel? Uh, from where you're about now, it's about 35 feet. 35 feet? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Alexi is going to put himself on the absolute edge of the railing, ready to jump, with this tapestry sort of like ready. Um, and he is going to go into the bag of holding one last time and draw out a redwood pistol. All right. <laughs> Point it at the gunpowder. Uh, I, can, I presume the captain is looking right at me. Captain's looking right at you. Uh, Alexia. Get him now! Get him now! And they're all running towards you. You see the shape of the woman. Uh, very good, sir. Try again. Pull the trigger. <laughs> oh okay. God. I need you to roll the d20 for me, please. Natural 20. <gasps> It is. <laughs> okay. 17. So, here's what happens. The captain and the men are too slow to keep up. <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. Go on. I, I believe Consistency. You. The witch also stands up, looking quite amused with the situation. And the last thing you see as you look, you look to your left, and you see a pretty young woman with bright white hair and golden eyes come out. Not someone you recognize. Okay. <laughs> but she looks at the barrel, she looks at you, and she looks terrified for a second as you pull the trigger and jump off the ship. Yeah. Cool. Right, you've improvised a parachute. Yeah. Cool. Let's... Out of a heavy material, a thick woven material. Cool. <laughs> you three. Could be a light tapestry. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly see Silk an tapestry. orange flame happen about 150 <laughs> feet in the air, and seconds later, I let go of the wall with our hands and I'm like, don't worry about it. And Myla's like, oh, it's a good thing that there's lots of hot air up there right now. That'll make someone very buoyant with some sort of improvised balloon. <laughs> um. <laughs> Please disregard our earlier comments. Cool. Tapestries don't make very good parachutes. Yeah. You fall and In you realize. Uh, I just noticed I also have robes, which could have worked. As you fall and as you look up, you, you do time. see debris and wood and. A couple of different figures falling. You see another one sort of falling. Feather falling, perhaps. No, not feather falling. <laughs> uh, with some sort of material also on fire at the top. And you look, and your parachute is ablaze. Fuck that thing off, then. Cool. You let it go? Yeah. Uh, and you start to free fall. Okay, How great. How um, far away wait. are we, just out of interest? Uh, you are, you've walked away a little bit, so I'm going to say Alexi is now 130 feet in the air. Alexi versus the air. And you are... I will say I mean, probably about 100 okay, feet. So let's say so. 180 feet, I think, distance if we're looking like a pure diagonal. 180 feet. 180 feet, yeah. Can I take a story reaction to go, 
run for cover and get all the civilians to like fucking scatter. Absolutely. Thanks. Good. I've, I've learned I've learned empathy and now I'm like uh oh <laughs> you are changed forever too what are you doing watching <laughs> huh excuse me to the wood elf Is yes it? oh yeah the guards were coming yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> guards show up but they've also seen this explosion so they're more interested in what's happening up above excuse me yes do you have any capacity to slow someone falling uh, I don't he might if you let me go I might show you I let go. Thanks. Oh, this is an Irish accent <laughs> before. Oh, okay. I thought it was Scottish. Before. Yeah, I thought it was Scottish. Oh, Let's, not dwell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not dwell. It's doing a perfect Wood Elf accent. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, they are famously yes. inconsistent. With <laughs> a perfect with Mercurial, accent. even. Mercurial. So, hello. Would you please aid whoever it is that is currently falling? Why should I do that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you a Why snelf? I, nope. No. So, it's Matt Curiel for sure. Would it help if I repeated your voice back at you? Please. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to call the guards. That was a joke. <laughs> Okay, oh. right. <laughs> You're free falling. You're asking for a feather fall. What are you doing? Okay, how... So so when he said so that, he's about 180 feet up, yes. right? Yes. How far are we from them, like... La, so have the person who's falling... So 120, far... 120 here, and you're probably about, like, here. Okay. Yeah. But how... So so the, that bottom bit of the you're triangle... You asked me to do, like, Pythagoras. No, 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 no. So not that bit, yeah. and not this bit. I want this bit. You want this bit? Yes. I'm going to say about 45 feet. Right. I'm going to... Sprint closer. Yep. And my aim is gonna be if it's basically like if I'm like that looks a lot like a tall sad boy. <laughs> As he comes within range, I am going to cast Thorn Whip to try and grab and pull him like towards so that basically I'm arresting the fall a bit and yanking him over towards where cool. I am cool. and being like <laughs> cool. I need a, persu a persuasion check that's from my, you that's my hope great <laughs> well, well as uh, to get him to, be, yeah. to do further fall it's like I have done this myself and found parts of it most unpleasant persuasion that's a 14 yeah now fuck that and he starts to run <laughs> and more debris starts to rain down from the ship ah, you're understood. getting people out the way right you've got <laughs> one action bonus action whatever you can do before you're gonna splat um Okay, right. This is a technical question now. The robes that I have in the bag of holding, <gasps> yep. are they thick, heavy, or light, chill robes? <laughs> I'm going to roll a d20. Uh, if it's under 11, they are thick and heavy and useless. If they're light, don't, don't look at my... <laughs> <laughs> Watch this make the only fucking time he doesn't get a natural one. Right. Eleven or higher, it'll be it'll be right. Fuck! Fuck's <laughs> sake! This is so inconsistent. I know. It's almost like it's a totally nice random. thick winter warm robes, not suitable. You got one more one more chance to do something. Shirts? You got any shirts? Um, no. D20 Take off your trousers. Took that one. Um. You know what? I do. I do have Alexi's coat. Okay. Then I'm just gonna try and make use of that. Okay. You you whip out the coat and you start to parachute down. Yeah. Beginning to float. Uh, four. You had something. I have uh one trick, and uh and it's convince humans. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab something a fucking cover from the market. Because we were in the thing, yeah, yeah, absolutely. fucking material, and we're gonna do this like you would do it if you weren't magical, which is hundreds of people holding the edge of a piece of fucking fabric. Okay, you've been helping people. I'll let you get that. So we've got you preparing Thornwhip. You've got the the fabric to try and catch Alexi. You're trying to I'll help carry you it down. The right. Here's yeah. what's gonna happen. You're gonna make an athletics check to see if you can guide yourself towards the fabric and try and get a safe landing. So need an athletics check first to see what happens. Big rolls. Natural one. <laughs> Jesus! Ah, fuck. I need to start you, looking again. Yeah, okay. okay. You pull we'll your coat again. and you realize your coat's also on fire. Wow. Oh. It do be like that sometimes. It do. Like it do. It do. Not, not bad, but like there's a couple of holes that have appeared in it now and it's useless as a parachute. <laughs> cool. You're tumbling, tumbling, tumbling. 
Right. Uh, I can get perception checks to try and get a good aim to see if you can place yourself in the right place. That goes for you as well. So, perception, perception, perception. Good rolls, good rolls, good rolls, good rolls, good rolls, good rolls, good rolls. Perception. Two. Non-natural 20. Dirty 20? 26. Okay. <laughs> These two cancel each other out. No. <laughs> So you're nearby, but it's not enough to catch Alexi. 26, you can see exactly where he's going to fall. You see the skinny sad boy falling. Are you yelling? Are you saying anything? Uh, uh, yeah, Screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Screaming. He's in free fall. There, there is nothing graceful about this. It's just one long, <laughs> fuck! Yeah, so with the thorn whip, Maya's going to try and basically yank him into the sheet. Okay. Because like, I think that's probably easy. That's a bigger target than just like pulling it. Great. It's towards her, she, anything like that. Great. You look, you see a crowd dispersing, everyone shouting, you see the explosion, you see feel wooden debris falling all around you. You see another figure with white hair fall past you, blank expression on her face. Does she hit the thing? We don't know yet. <laughs> As you fall, yelling, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you see the ground, you see Milo, you see her preparing a spell. You see Myla cast Thorn of his foreign tutorial, try and catch up with your trajectory. One roll to try and catch him. I thought you were going to end the episode, so I'm feeling great. It's a straight roll. Let's see what happens. You got this. Good rolls, good rolls, good rolls. I'm looking at you now. Good rolls, good rolls, good rolls, good rolls. 12 plus, plus 8 on the Thorn Whip. The dirty 20. Okay. <laughs> Alexia, as you fall, suddenly <laughs> vines come up, wrap themselves around you, and you suddenly feel yourself grabbed and pulled. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Oh. <laughs> as Alexia's caught and explosions happen all around, panic in the streets, things are amiss, things are about to change. Let's see what happens. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, my name is Matt Bateman. I've been a game master and joined by the wonderful Sasha Burger and Reese Lawton, Naomi Clark, and David Cox. I need uh, like a drink or like <laughs> a fucking shot or something. Uh, wonderful Jeff Krieg on light and sound and camera and microphone and everything else. Uh, and lovely other artists uh, like Bartify who do all the music and Loki Fellows who did all the character art. Uh, we're not sponsored by Hero Forge. Um, but we're open to discussion. We're open to conversation. <laughs> uh, we also have a Patreon. Check it out. I uh, don't want to plug myself too much, but hey, it's been a blast. Thank you for watching. It's been uh, a blast. Oh, that ah! was that was actually unintentional. Um, it's just my explosive personality. No. Yeah. no. You, Nevertheless. you should have said something like, I've just got that natural spark. Yeah, that I just don't so pop better. off like that, you know? Mm. You know so you've ruined the magic. You've ruined the magic. Just end with a boom, man. Yeah. I refuse. Okay. Ah. <laughs> you refuse. Oh! Ah. Guess what? She gets inspiration for the next episode just for that. Anyway, <laughs> stay classy. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Kakite. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye bye. <laughs>